Time to pivot back over to your first alert forecast updates, everyone. 1019 into your night. We're taking a look at Forest Drive, I-77. Steady little stream of traffic for those out late on a Monday night. Let's see what's going on here. We got Columbia at 58 right now, while Lexington falls back to 57. Sumter, another degree shy. Temperatures falling back at a reasonably steady clip at this point, but we're going to be hitting a bit of a wall here. We're not going to see things continuing to plummet that much further. We're not seeing widespread 40s, but we still have the potential for some upper 40s in spots around the region. Definitely want to be watching out for that as we go along, especially for our north and western viewing area. Newberry, Saluda County. I'll be looking at you guys to get into those 40s tonight, of course. Winsboro even could be a bit cooler there, but uh, down towards Orangeburg County, not as cool. Should be seeing more of those mid and lower 50s for tonight. Conditions stay dry. We're going to be seeing a lot of sun. We get back to a warming trend, and if you were at all worried, for the outlook for Halloween, for things to be unsettled, don't be. It's going to be a beautiful, nice and warm Halloween, good amount of sunshine, and the highs won't be too hot. We're going to see them top out close to that 80 degree mark, so all in all, not too bad of a day, but I'm sure many out there would prefer a little bit of that cooler air, especially as we're closing out spooky season and looking towards the start to the holiday season. Here's that big area high pressure. It's off to our north and east, pushing out to the Atlantic a bit, but it's still going to be strong enough to impact us down here in the Carolinas. Virginia, yes, North Carolina, yeah. South Carolina, a little bit more of a borderline battle, essentially, between some weak moisture right here, a dry line, and where that high pressure is going to be fighting. Essentially, it's going to be along the low country coast. Moisture trying to fight back, that dry air trying to fight back down from the north. And uh, spoiler alert, the dry air wins. It wins in a big way. Let's see how that battle goes. Going on into tomorrow, we're going to see more breezes out of more of a northerly direction. Some clouds to linger around. A couple little small bits of drizzle can make their way up from the south. But I'm telling you this right now, that high pressure says, I want to win. I want to remain dominant. And that's just what's going to happen. Going on into Wednesday. The uh, All Hallows Eve and, of course, right into Halloween on Thursday. These changes just remain unimpressive. Some clouds and a couple little patches of drizzle, again, can try to pop up at times, but it's just going to be so far and in between. And uh, fix this graphic for this half hour. Tomorrow, you know I love this one, National Cats Day. To a mind, got Nittany, got Moon. Y'all got 81 tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. You know, maybe some people out there take their cats outside. I do occasionally. Uh, as we go into our first 10 day forecast, we see 74 for tomorrow into Wednesday, Thursday, your Halloween, and the start to November. 80s hanging in there.